Look at transition. Look at transition. Really. My name is Nugget, but I also go by Nug, Nuggies, Nuggles, Stinky Winky, and Fluffy Butt. I belong to a rare breed called the Coton de Tulaire. In French, this means the cottons of Tulaire. We were named such for our fluffy, con-like fur and the city, Tulaire, in Madagascar where we were first discovered. I love to be a clown and am super goofy when playing with both my four-legged friends and my two-legged friends. I hope you enjoy sharing in my many adventures. Hi everybody, I'm Courtney and this is Nugget. In this video we wanted to talk to you about how we discovered this rare breed and how we decided to get a puppy and that puppy was Nugget a, almost a year ago. He's almost a year old. We mean my husband and I and then now this is our fur baby Nug. <laughs> Thank you, Nuggy. Thank you. Oh, he loves the hugs. Loves the hugs. Okay, let's sit down. Good sit. Good sit. About mm, a little over like a year and a half ago, I would say at this point in time, my husband and I decided that we were ready to look for a dog. And we were trying to decide what breed of dog we wanted or what kind of dog we wanted. And that came with a little bit of trouble because I wanted a big, fluffy, derpy dog like a Newfoundland or St. Bernard or something like that. And my husband grew up with very small dogs, specifically a Dash Hound, and wanted a smaller dog more like that. And also was concerned about the hair, especially since we have people in our family who are fairly allergic to animals and particular dogs. We ended up deciding we didn't want something super fluffy that wasn't hypoallergenic because of the allergies in my family. <laughs> He's giving me a shake. Shake? Other paw? Good boy. Good boy. What we ended up doing was spending a whole bunch of time online just looking at different bleak breeds and trying to determine what breed would be best for us. And we just couldn't decide, couldn't decide. And we ended up kind of for fun just starting to take a couple of those what breed is best for you quizzes just to see what we would get or see if we would get any similar breeds. Those quizzes are actually really nice because a lot of them entail how much time you have to groom, how much time you have to exercise, the hypoallergenic side, how big of a dog you prefer. They take into account if you live in like an apartment, a house, a condo. They take into account all these different factors that can matter to what kind of dog you want to get. And of course, with our difference in preferences for dogs, most of the dogs were not similar on our list that we were getting, except for this breed, the Coton de Tulier, kept coming up, and we had no idea, absolutely no idea, what a Coton de Tulier was at the time. So we ended up doing some research and looking it up and finding out that they actually sounded pretty cool to us. They loved people and other dogs. They were super happy-go-lucky. They wanted just to please everybody. They were hypoallergenic. They had these big fluffy coats, but they were smaller dogs, but not super small. Compared to Danny the Dash Hound, which is one of Nugget's friends, he stands, now full grown, he stands taller than Danny, but he actually weighs less. We looked them up because we kept finding them on our what breed is best for you list, and when we looked them up, they sounded like everything we both wanted in a compromise of a dog breed. And so then we started looking at breeders and trying to find good breeders around. And we happened to find one in a town called Okotoks in Alberta. So we live in Calgary. And so for those of you who don't know, Calgary is about a half hour north of Okotoks. So it was super close, which was really awesome. And we ended up chatting with her and everything looked good. We had a huge list of questions for her. She had questions for us. Um, any good breeder who is looking to make sure that their pups go to the right home, they will have a questionnaire for you and then they will chat with you and make sure that you are ready and that your home is good to take in a puppy and then they will be there for you afterwards. I have asked our breeder plenty of questions and advice on raising Nugget and it has been great to have that resource that's so familiar with 
And then, so what else we did is after we talked to her and over conversation, it sounded like, yes, this is the breed we want. We actually went and visited her because she has several of her retired dogs as well as her active female at home with her. And so we got to meet a whole bunch of Nugget's family members before we actually got to meet Nugget and just fell in love even more. It was exactly like online said, they were super happy go lucky, super playful, super wanting to please, love to just kind of chill with you. Like they do get these zoomies, but they aren't like super, super high energy dogs, which is nice. We said, yes, next time you have a litter available for us, we want a puppy. There is a long wait list most of the time because they're smaller dogs, so they don't have huge litters and then they're a rare breed. And so they don't have as many females actively breeding, especially responsibly. And so you do get put on a wait list. And we got very lucky that the first litter she had, she wasn't expecting to have a puppy for us. But then when she went down her list in order of who was first to get a puppy if they wanted, they ended up having already either gotten a different breed or got a puppy from a different breeder or XYZ. And for us, we determined that it was important to us for how close she was to wait for her to have a puppy because it was so much easier for us to go down there and visit and be able to meet Nugget than it was for us to try to travel a long ways for the same thing. So we decided it was worth it to hold out and wait for a puppy from her. And we got really lucky. We got Nugget within the first litter she had after we said, yes, we want one. I really liked how she determined who got which puppy because you got to determine whether or not you wanted a male or female and then after that she actually had you do a little bit of a personality quiz it had like some color preferencing since they do have three different color variations and a few different factors like that and then she actually picks which one of the pups is best suited. You can tell her you have a preference towards one pup or the other, but she really wants you to have the best pup for you. And so at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if the pup is your favorite color or not, because if their personality doesn't work with you, then it's going to be very hard for you to form that really good bond. And so she ended up picking Nugget for us and he has been more than perfect. He is <laughs> so cute and wonderful and we really like him. I really, really appreciated going through and doing the research we did with the puppy quizzes. That was really insightful for us, especially if there's more than one person in the family. You could have your kids do that quiz too, just to kind of get an idea of what they want out of a dog and then seeing what breeds are pairing up really well for your family. I I would never have found the Coton de Tulier. We would have never gotten Nugget if it weren't for that. And so I really am glad that we sat down and took the time to do those quizzes and figure out our research and know what we wanted and how we wanted to do it. And so yeah, I wanted to go over that with you, how just how we found this little guy. I will link some of those quizzes below so that you can see them and take them for yourself if you want. And I will also link some stuff about ethical breeding and how to spot puppy mills because it is very important to make sure that we are ethically breeding and not inbreeding or breeding bad genetics into these guys. Now kit and I say goodbye. We'll see you next time.